What's going on, boys and girls? It's Tom. And it's Jamie. Welcome to the Chronicles of Podcast. The Chronicle of 2003. 2023. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. All the characters are coming on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to get me in, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How close are you on this? So just down there. Hey, you're all good to get Wherever your kicks out, so you're all good. Yeah, yeah. It's not as though they just challenge like, you're like, boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Don't worry, come on. Fuck off. I've got this. Yeah, yeah. I was like, can I say something? No, no, I've got it. Alright, go on, let's go. Alright, go on. Have you guys got it today? Yeah, like. Five minutes ago. Oh, fuck. We literally just pulled up. Walked around the uh, took a shit and pint. come straight to okay, it. Yeah, that's it, yeah, so, uh, I was going to ask you, your festival's been, but obviously you haven't been here, so. No, no, I, uh, been I came here last year with Chubby and the gang. Oh, yeah? Did you? I, I, I think you might be mistaken, it was somewhere else, you know. Possibly. Because you're on the new stage now with Chubby and the gang. Nah, but I remember these tents. <laughs> I, remember the t- I remember the tents, I remember these caravans. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I've been here before. Right. Put it put it on record that we've been here before. Was it was a good one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you could do your research at home. Okay. <laughs> if not, it was all a dream. Yeah. <laughs> you dreamt of being here. Fan fiction. <laughs> well, as you just got here, how was the drive down at least? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a complicated question, though. <laughs> <laughs> because most of us live it all. Oh, oh wow. Well, 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 well. <laughs> <laughs> most of us live no. all around uh, Wolfenstone. Two of, two of us live in Wolfenstone. And if, if you want to take the band, yeah. If you're gonna say everyone else was in a van, a bunch of people came up from Brighton and Kent. So we went down to Victoria. We're not gonna get into it, but basically if we'd have met at Wolfenstall, we'd have been here an hour earlier. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well if my uncle had wheels it'd be a bike, so you know. <laughs> Should we move on before the band breaks up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, can't, you can't break us up. Oh, <laughs> um, so a festival show then, compared to a gig, do you bring a different sort of set for this sort of vibe? Because you know, people uh, obviously aren't very nah, I don't see. think so. Like, we, we, we just sort of work on the set that we think is the best and then sort of treat like, I think it's best to treat small and big shows the same. Yeah. Get yeah. welly, same. But, but I say something, it's like a headline show and it's our show and stuff like that. We'll, we'll like... Uh, uh, great to like suit what we're doing at that time. A bit but more it, songs or something. Yeah, but no, yeah. I mean, if it's like a festival show or like for like a support act on a show or something like that, we'll keep it like for, for a new audience, if anything. Yeah, like how many, it, what percentage but, of the crowd did know who the Chisel are? I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, re- I reckon quite a few, but it's like... 99%? 99.9%? Yeah, yeah, and that's, and that's, that's 1% too small, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll forget that 1%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but whilst you're here, is there anybody else you're going to be checking out? Or is well, it we niche? wanted to see uh, Fleshwater. And Koyo as well, but they're playing right this second. Uh, <laughs> and Hive is our boys, but they're, they're the, already done. So, uh, we wanted to see the catering, but that's done as well, isn't it? No, no, that's five, <laughs> five till seven. That was it. Five yeah. till seven, and we play at ten past five, so let's see how that goes as well. <laughs> Okay. So, straight off, straight into catering. Job yeah. done. But, <laughs> so we love talking to bands at festivals because we feel like festivals have such a like family feel to them. Like everyone just gets along. Like we've just met you guys like three minutes ago. We've had a great laugh already. Granted, we've almost broke the band up, but we've had a great laugh. As a band, when you're playing festivals, do you feel that looking out on the crowd, being like, "Yes, this is one big like chisel family right here." I mean, I like to. Uh... I mean, I don't. I don't, know, I don't know, man. I don't think that much. <laughs> just in general. <laughs> like, I'm just, I just sort of like. To be, to be honest, you're honest with If we play festivals like this, and especially it's like uh, in the sunshine and stuff like that, and look out across the crowd, and you can see that not many people have probably like have heard of us before and stuff like that. And I'll see some little kids, and I'll see some older guys, and I'll see some like yeah, families yeah. and that. If I see a smile on their faces, then it's all been worthwhile. And you know, and it does actually touch the heart a little bit, especially when you come off stage. You get little messages on the Instagram being like, oh yeah, we heard you for the first time. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. When we've done Fluff Fest. But but, but the thing is, I do mean that though as well, though. When we've done Fluff Fest and like uh, someone 
brought their, I guess someone brought their kids along and they put yeah, them on the stage. Kids, put the kids on the stage and they were like dancing along to the chisel. I was like, but can't completely nice. destroy any kind of like, <laughs> uh, like people stage diving shit like that. Someone put their kid on the fucking stage and suddenly everything's kind of. Down and you want to be a big tough hardcore guy, you know, go like a little kid dancing on stage. Uh, like, oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like singing about happy things now, yeah. cheer me right up. <laughs> it's a, as a part, I don't mean to bring the tone down at all, but as a podcast, we are affiliated with the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. Yeah. Are you aware of Sophie, her no. story at all? I'm, I'm aware of the story, but I'm not like with the foundation and stuff. Like that. I've seen like the work that he's doing, and for the side, we've never something that we've been a part of. I'm not aware of it. Basically, in 2007, Sophie and her boyfriend were walking for a park, and five years, aged between about 13 and 16 basically beat the living hell out of them. They didn't like the way they looked, simply because they were goths. Oh, fuck, Sophie, I did, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Sophie, did, had, sorry, yeah. Sophie had red dreads, yeah, and they were just wearing black jeans and a t-shirt. They weren't even yeah, yeah. dressed anything major. It's disgusting. And Sophie lost her life from this, yeah, and her mum's basically mission in life then, she set up the foundation, was to make sure that the people in the alternative community were protected, because it's not classed as a strand of hate crime. Yeah. And it should be, because should, they were yeah, yeah. attacked and beaten because of that and it still happens today we spoke to a little girl out of the tent yesterday day before who literally it happened to like she was beaten we interviewed an artist yesterday it happened to her a couple of weeks ago you know it's still happening today is this something you guys have ever dealt with in your personal lives been treated differently I've, like when I was in uh, like secondary school high school whatever um, I was like a sort of like spiky hair punk like like you know like patches and you know whatever just a kid or whatever but I used to get grief all the time yeah. I got jumped on the way to shows like many a time like I remember like um, I grew up in, in West London in Acton and um, we uh, we used to hold like uh, um, like uh, not Battle of the Bands but a sort of similar thing where it was just like kids in fucking secondary school year 10s or whatever doing like and it was it wasn't like a punk show it was just like an alternative show yeah. you know like where like grunge band fucking something sounded like I don't know like uh, UK2 band heavy hardcore band it was all just playing because we were just all into like all alternative stuff and even that like there was a night one there where people like attacked the show you know just because it was like it, were, it was in the middle of like a kind of like quite a rough like block and people would just like attack the show just because they were just like who the fuck all these weird looking people here you know so like I, I, I feel that you know like you know it's, it's shit yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. like, I don't know, I was the phrase yeah, yeah. The thing is, it's like, as you get older, especially, it's like, it seems to be like, a lot, it feels like it's more acceptable, but I think it's more because we all get older at the same time, yeah. so you're not really, like, you don't really like, see it first time. But at the end of the day, it was like, especially when we were younger, and that, like, a moshia was a moshia, and, like, yeah. and it was like, and if you were, if you adhered to any kind of alternative, stuff like that, you were getting fucking single powers, especially Absolutely. if you were, like, But it brings you, it, like, like, not, not to, like, I mean, this is a small constellation, because obviously it's like someone's lost their life and shit, you don't want to be like, oh, but you know, uh, that's awful. But it's like, it does bring people together, you know, like when you do see people, like when I see someone on the fucking street and they're wearing a Bad Brains t shirt or something, yeah, yeah. I will be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember being on the tube and seeing someone in like a hardcore hoodie and he was on fucking holiday with his fucking. Uh, He's fucking, uh, and he's like, Why that's he's fucking chubby in the gang making that fucking rap. He's fucking playing. Turn your fucking. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a fucking fucking <laughs> your, your guitar players. Yeah, it's fucking it's shit. Snack. <laughs> Mama, say hello to the camera. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how you say hello in French. Tell me, this is Mama. It's Mama. Bonjour. This is Mama. <laughs> France. C'est pour qui ça? You can call it that. <laughs> Who's that for? Uh, Chronicles. Chronicles of Podcast. That's, that's us. That's us. Come le Port Salut, c'est Marquis. How's it going? Yeah, good. How are you? I yeah. can't believe Chubby awesome. and the gang fucking ruining this shit. Do you want me to go and tell him to shut up? <laughs> it's yeah, all good, fine. mate. The mics are bigger. We're just like, you should up. be proud of being proud of being alternative, and then they play, and I'm like, shut up! <laughs> Bring your yeah. Stop being alternative! Yeah. <laughs> Dude! What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a bit of a shit show, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Stairway to Heaven. Or something. Stairway to Something we know. <laughs> Let's try to get a tune to Something we like. Yeah, we saw product placement. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a Marshall JCM 900. What's it? Wait, wait, wait. Right. Sorry, man. Right. It's, it's, it's all good. We love right. chaos. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, welcome to the Chisel Show. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Uh, um, sorry, mate, we're going to talk. Yeah. Yeah. You've not long finished a tour of the United States. How was that? Good. Uh, was great. Yeah, great, great people. Decent. 
Yeah, very good. Like, yeah. um, very good people. Fun and we got looked after. It. It. it was like we played Las Vegas punk rock bowling and did two shows in one day. But that was off for like a week's two of the chats in the UK before us. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were also amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, these amazing are, people. Yeah. Amazing time. I'm not the only old band that I really enjoy seeing. Like, it was such a treat to so see GBH. them every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was amazing. They're playing sometimes awesome, like, you know? Sometimes, like, with the older bands, it's like a little bit like. They, they have a little bit of like a oh, I've been there done that type thing you know what I mean they want to sit and like yeah. just fucking read the paper in the back room but not <laughs> not, not GBH, GBH. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. They, they, they were they, they, they were on it more than we yeah were. we were like hanging out proper yeah, like yeah. about two days deep it was just like we knew yeah. it for a long time we, we, we you were know what I mean we were wanting to go to bed and they were like where the fuck is going yeah we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you lot doing tonight what are you lot doing tonight <laughs> well, that's yeah. Yeah. it's good man it's a really good time, time. I hope we can do something like with them again yeah they've never disbanded you know like yeah like the youngest members here since 1994. 1994. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> We've always been together, yeah. And then over the night, over the Scott, other than the drummer so in 1994, it was like 1982 or something. Guys, it's been the same lineup to 78, 78. The, 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 the picture, oh, the, the pictures of them when they were young. Oh, yeah. sexy I, punk men. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. The, spikiest you, the spikiest hair. The spikiest hair. Yeah. How do your women? You know? yeah. Just like the chisel now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how do your daughters? <laughs> Obviously, obviously you guys released Cry Your Eyes Out back in May now, I believe it was. How, how, how has it been with us with the song? Yeah, been good, well received? Yeah, yeah, good. I mean, it's, been like it. it's been decent, yeah, but it's all, it's all just kind of like a little build up to what's going to come because we've got an album coming out, and like in both. We, we, we stuck on it. We stuck on the artwork essentially. Uh, so so we're like we just wait. Everything's done with everything's it. Everything's done, and this was supposed to be like a teaser for the new album, but because we scrapped the artwork, it's going to be a little bit longer. So it's like it's been good, but it's all part of a bigger picture, which is to follow. So, yeah, so. I fucking I really struggle with artwork because it's like I don't do art. I don't yeah. really care for art, so yeah. it's like I just want to make music so, so, and shit. Yeah, so it's like, oh yeah, you got to put some, what's the artwork? And it's like, what? I don't know. Right, chisel on a bit of paper. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, it was I was going to say, I think he's just designed the artwork yeah. right there on the table. Let's, 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 let's get it out of my phone. How do you feel about being the new album artwork? It's fucking great. I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a man of few words. It's a man of few words. That'd be on the quids. Oh. Guys, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for sitting and talking to us. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, he's like, he's like, pull it. Pull it. Yeah, yeah. No, pull thank it. you boys so much. Feel sorry for your head, mate. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.